Hey guys, Kevin here. This is the Coach Manova with, that is uh, the 20CL lithium package. Let's do a bit of a quick walkthrough so you can see the color. Here's those uh, acrylic dual pane windows that pop out. Pretty cool. And then they'll go, well, I think that's the highest high as they go there. So you get one, two, and three. And then from the inside, you have this screen that goes down keep the bugs out and that attaches down at the bottom or you have the blackout screen that comes up so attach that here there you go so there's that massive refrigerator let's take a look at the front you also have an electric awning mounted up on top there there's like a blue light uh, that lights up at night so you can see the entrance a little bit kind of looks nice. There's this uh, screen All the controls are right here as well as there's a little storage here, but all these controls are here you actually can download an app mobile app and Do everything on this screen from your app Which is pretty cool All the lighting all the lights would these little arrows, which there's quite a few, those lights are all dimmable, okay? So you can be literally in bed changing the, the lights, the, the temperature of the coach, all those things. You have hard surface countertops here. Take a little picture, a little look at this refrigerator again. I mean, this is probably the biggest refrigerator I've seen in a van. Ice box down here. There's all the controls up here. There's your solar panel control charge. It's basically a solar charge control. It just shows you the how the solar is charging. Um, this is your water heater furnace. It's called the Truma system. This is your inverter. Once that inverter is on, which it is now, that beep happens that means you're getting power to all your 110 your air conditioning can turn on and all that stuff so I'll go to this cool low one of the cool things about this Coleman mock air conditioner is it's probably the quietest of all of the air conditioners you find in Class B's, which is, whether it's Dometic or GE, it's like eight decibels quieter. So it makes it a lot easier to have it on and still kind of not have an overwhelming sound coming from the ceiling. Here's your bathroom. It's actually not a bad space. I mean, you have a little sink even, shower. I mean, it's larger than some. It's got plenty of space to um, maneuver, I believe. You have your shower curtain up there. And so when you're inside with a shower curtain on, you just have to close it even like that. It gives it even a little bit more space. And this is that high back neck that I'm talking about over here. And then you have a shade in the back too that goes all the way down so you can literally have all the doors open, keeping the bugs out and all that stuff. You have another controller right here. It's a little smaller, but it does exactly the same thing. There's your television. It's a LG smart TV, I'm pretty sure. Let's see here. Oops. Actually, I don't know if it is a smart TV. But easy to make these things a smart TV by plugging in a one of those things like a Roku or one of those other things but I don't have the remote control so I can't really test it out but it is a nice LG television nonetheless I mean it looks like the one I have at home which yes I normally add I mean mine's mine is oops mine is a smart TV what happens when I push the there's a button you push then everything pops up on the bottom you can pick whatever channels you have anyway not a big deal but um there's your dvd player up here radio 
get the stuff up here. I wonder if the remote control is in here. Then I can check. Yep. Okay, so it is a smart TV. Good. There's everything there. Cool. That's exactly what uh, what I have. So you just push that home button or you go directly to Netflix or Amazon. But you can literally add anything from Apple TV to Hulu already there. HBO Max, all of them. And just by going to this content store and downloading whatever app you're looking for. Okay, so that's the same color. I mean, this is the coach itself. This is literally the motorhome. There's a pantry here. That's pretty cool. More storage drawers down here. So that's good use of space. There's your sink. Induction cooktop, which means you have to use a magnetic bottom uh, pan. And then it works just by touching this and when you remove the pan the heat goes away I guess it only works with a certain kind of metal and it gives you a lot more counter counter space as well spice rack towel, towel uh, paper towel holder here is the actual build sheet you can freeze on that and read through if you like MSRP 171974. There might be a second page. So you've got all that. And page two has more. So you can freeze on that if you want to read more about that. All right, so take a look up front real quick. I'll see your microwave up here. There's a little bit of storage. There's some uh, window coverings for all the front windows, the back windows. Every window has a cover so that you can have privacy. So this unit does have navigation just I can turn it on it says that it was sold but I believe that it's not I think somebody might have had a deal working on it but it's parked in the available section so what probably happened is that somebody was trying to buy it and it didn't go through or they couldn't get them approved or who knows what but you have navigation by Tom Tom, you have a backup camera, Bluetooth, all that stuff. So there's a little storage up here. And what's in, what's interesting about this storage compartment is that when your air conditioner is on, it runs. There's one of the ducts runs alongside that storage compartment, and so it keeps that compartment cooler than the other. You know, so if you wanted to put a snack in there or something it wouldn't melt as easily as it would like if it's in this glove box or something so navigation there's cup holders down here a cup holder three more here and then one over here so 2248 miles this one so take a look let me know if you have any questions well, there's also this um, attic fan up here it's a powerful fan with a rain sensor so it'll close if it starts to rain automatically but take a look any questions let me know let's get this thing off the market for you guys and get you guys out camping <laughs>